Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I was due in Nashville, Tennessee, and apparently due to some crazy issues with version control, Vetch has omitted the orange fleecy box in the version of the map that he sent me. So, I have sent him my save file, complete with my not really working yet farm, my death counter, and my victory monument as is, and he is going to put the fleecy box back in the map where it goes, so that way I can go fight it and get the wool and complete everything. He told me though that I shouldn't try to do this unless, I shouldn't even open the file unless I was already recording. So I'm kind of worried that he's got some sort of surprise in store for me. And here is the version that Vetch has sent me. Purely in the interest of science, let us test the aerodynamic qualities of Joe Hills. How high up? Are we feather fallen four boots? Well, I've already got feather fallen four boots. What is the best way? I don't even. Wow. Okay. Let me see if I can turn my view distance up higher or something. My view distance is far. Where? Vetches, where did you put me? Am I going to fall into the void here? Am I. Wow. Okay. Let's look at the stuff that we have on us. Potion of Regeneration. Helpful, but not that helpful. Ladders. That'll give us one block of... Like, we need water here. Sandstone, bed, egg. None of this is going to be helpful. Okay, well, the ladders might work if we can catch something on the way down. We could not. Whoa, what? What? What was all that s s s I heard a lot of s s s out there. Dang it, Vetches. Come on, I had Feather Fallen 4. Dang it, come on. Whoa. That explosion over there. Whoa. Okay, I think that was what all those hissing noises were. Still got some TNT. Okay, so those boots... Those boots, I think, are gone. Um, okay, bitches. I am less than thrilled. I am decidedly less than thrilled. Okay, so it seems that... On the plus side, I guess I can run down here and have a whole bunch of extra stone. I suppose that in the interest of thoroughness, I should circumnavigate this thing and, whoa, ensure that there's no remains of any of my equipment, because it was such good equipment. But realistically, you know, there's not gonna be anything left. Oh, uh, what? Vetches? Okay. Okay. You know, okay, so I, I'm like, well, at least I gathered all this stone. I'll have that now. Dang it. Vetches. Okay, you got me that time. Yeah, I think that we are gonna try just going... All that equipment is gone. That is a lost cause. I think I'm gonna gear up and go for the orange wool. Vetches was at least kind enough to tell me where it is. Although his kindness is often confused with cruelty. Oh, wait, no, his kindness is actually cruelty. Most often. I have never been so displeased with bitches. I figure that my best bet to reclaim any shred of dignity I have is to promptly go get the orange wool out from where he told me it was. He said he was putting it in the gym. So, oh good, it's dark in here. Can we find the fle fleece boxes elevated? Don't really see any spawners. Some monsters there. Either way, you know what we're going to do? Oh, yeah, there's some spawners right there. I see some in the ground. We, he, oh, I was going to say, if he got rid of that ladder, I'm going to be mad. I love that ladder. No, he made the seal in bedrock. Can you believe that? Oh, come on, bitches. Everything about this used to be beautiful, and then it wasn't anymore. And I think that you had something to do with that. 
I figure in the very least what I can do is try and get some sunlight in here up to this point. I can go ahead and start bridging out with some of this stone that I have recovered. Oh. Oh, there are there are spawners inside of the brick. Spawners inside of the brick. Thank you, bitches. Thank you. That's what I was hoping that you would have inside of the brick. I was hoping you would put spawners full of blazes right there. And then I was hoping they would come set me on fire. Oh, and there are creepers coming too. Yeah, it's not like I just lost all of my equipment ever and would, you know, possibly like to have new equipment. Having successfully raided my base below the computer lab, I'm now far better prepared to attack whatever lies inside of here. And whatever tells the truth inside of here, I will be equally prepared to deal with. I'm thinking that my best bet on this is going to be to use pistons and teleportation. Both of these things are things that come pretty naturally to me. We are going to run in there, pick a blazing, and just go for... Whoa, that was a little bit further than I thought it would be. Orange wool. Excellent. Now... We are going to break this hole right here and teleporter. Boom. Check that out. Excellently executed. Boom. We are back in the sunlight. We have got the orange wool. It cost us a piston. Really, I could go back for it, but oh wait. People devalue... The value of pistons in this particular map is so low that people literally go to the bathroom on them. I don't think that we need to worry about recovering that. In fact, I feel like I probably should wash my hands. I haven't used it in the first place. Let me do that real quick. Excellent. My hands feel way cleaner now. So, I guess I will see you at the Victorum or Gift Monument. What? No. Vitch has filled this with TNT as well. No. Vitch is... Okay, so apparently my rail line was also full of TNT. Let's go see if we can recover that orange wool, or if all is lost. What? Where do I hear... Uh-oh. No! I'm blocking you! Vitches, I am not pleased. Not pleased. Okay, so this is clearly going poorly. Let's go see if we can recover the orange wool out of the hole up ahead. Probably not. We might be on our way back in to fight all those blazes and stuff. We're gonna have to do this again without the benefit of the ender pearls, but I did bring a bucket of water this time. We can use the bucket of water to get down to the ground. Why am I up here? I went too far. My goodness, I've gone too far. But no, seriously, like, I'm gonna run across the bricks. I'm gonna jump in, grab the wool here. So, we're gonna jump here. And this goes here. Right? So that will keep me from getting hurt by those guys. In the meantime, I need to grab... Let's grab three orange wool just to be covered. Then, we are going to jump out of here and run for it. We are just going to run for it. Right out this door, up the ladder like we did last time. Except... No! No! Let's try that again. That door won't be a problem anymore. At this point... What does it say, bitches? Hey, Joe, go have some fun and play some ball. Thanks, bitches. I was going to say, at this point, we can maybe hope that the uh, creeper who blew us up here has allowed us to maintain the orange wool. Yes, there we go. There it is. We definitely still have it. No, go away. Go away. Go away. 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 You are not welcome here. We are leaving. This has been abysmal. This has been the worst freaking attempt to get wool ever. Like, this is making the black wool attempt look like child's play. This has just been bad. I'm not ha Like, I, I will have no more of this. I'm gonna take this wool and I'm gonna go home. 
Goodbye. Goodbye, horrible gymnasium. I probably shouldn't run backwards through areas that I haven't walked through before because I'm probably going to need to shield with my sword when everything blows up again. We are back at the gift monument. We have died like at least seven or eight times. I'm just going to assume eight because I can't go back and look at the footage until, you know, I have the footage done and I'm making it now. And we're racing the sun, so my guess is that I died eight times. So this death counter is even uglier now as an eight than it was as a three. I don't have any proper torches to light up the orange wool with, but that's fine. I don't even care anymore. Orange wool. Vetches, you're a big dumb jerk in the gym. And outside. All those TNT bombs, not cool. Yeah, that's how, how much I want to light this up. But you know what? We're going to do this right? Well, no, we can't because all our torches are gone. Jack-o'-lantern, whatever. Okay, fine. So, what have we got left? We have green wool and red wool. Vetches, I'm going to get that wool. I'm going to finish this map, and I'm going to be done with it. Everything was fun until you got here. Stupid orange wool. Anyway... Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee, reminding you that the number eight is the same frontwards as backwards, when it at least looks like a number eight in the first place.